to Carmel tonight where one mom says she is fed up with a dangerous intersection right there in her neighborhood, saying the kids are forced to wait for that bus in the dark. She reached out to Call 6 Investigates in an effort to get something done about it. Here's our Kara Kenny. When Kelly Miller takes her 12-year-old son Devin to the bus stop at 7 a.m., it's a source of anxiety. Fed up with unsafe drivers, Kelly took matters into her own hands. Literally, she whipped out her cell phone and started making a video diary. I'm chronicling the issues that we're having. Morning after morning, she captures drivers going right through stop signs as kids wait in the dark. There are at least one. Watch what happens as Devin walks to the bus. There's the bus. There's the car. Stop. Drivers also turn right in front of buses loading kids. But the car is going anyway, right there. This is what I'm talking about. Kelly's taken dozens of videos and posted them on social media. And there they go. And they're still red. This is what I'm talking about right there. She's also shared them with the mayor's office and Carmel Police. One of the kids are going to get hit. That's my biggest fear. Police told me they conducted 25 patrols and 61 traffic stops at this intersection so far this year and issued 32 citations and 38 warnings. They're also working with the Carmel Clay School District to change the pickup location. I'm hoping to get speed bumps through here so people might not want to cut through here anymore and even go as far as closing one of these exits out so that it's a dead end. Kelly says no matter where you live, she has a message for you. Take 30 seconds and not be impatient and just wait to make sure all the kids are safely on the bus. And Carmel Police point out the school district has more than 3,000 bus stops and more than 2,000 of these stop signs. They say they will continue to monitor this intersection. And Kelly Miller, you know, she will be monitoring on her cell phone as well. We're live in Carmel. I'm Kara Kenny, RTV6.